Nigeria has seen GDP growth of 7.3% in the first quarter of 2011, but the country still faces, as you know, major infrastructural bottlenecks. In line with its transformation agenda, the government plans to forge global partnerships by attracting foreign direct investment to achieve its Vision 2020, effectively being a G20 economy within the next decade. Ocha Onkorokwo spoke with the Minister of National Planning, Dr. Shamshuddin Ushman. She started off by asking how the Nigerian government plans to leverage the West African region in line with pushing the broader goals of the country forward. Well, clearly, the West African region has always been a potentially big market for Nigeria. Uh, the, Nigeria, obviously, is the biggest market in West Africa, and we have actually provided, if you like, that leverage. But if it's done in a more structured manner, through ECOWAS, through the other uh, formal arrangements, it is going to be a win-win situation. So uh, Nigeria, in and of itself, is a big enough market for any investor. But if you also look at the, this potential which you pointed out of leveraging Nigeria to service the whole of West Africa, then clearly you are talking of a much bigger size of a market than uh, before. Now, in terms of budget and planning, we, uh, how does the government plan to maximize spending uh, in terms of aligning federal and state's objectives? Well, the alignment is taking more in between the plan as we have defined it, that is the Vision 2020, the National Implementation Plan, Mr. President's Transformation Agenda, and the annual budget, which itself is a plan, but a short-term plan. So there is more alignment taking place uh, my office and that of the Minister of Finance are working much more closely, especially on the 2012 budget. In terms of aligning policy, budgets usually, the budgets of the states and the federal are different because they are approved by different organs. But we are trying to align policy here in terms of macroeconomic policy, in terms of uh, articulation, planning, and so on. Uh, and that is principally done through my office. Uh, for example, last week we held uh, a, a, a meeting of all the planning agencies from the 36 states and the federal, where we meet together to try to make sure that, because we are in the same ship, we are basically in the same ship, and if any part of it is leaking, all of us are in danger. And if it is whole and moving fast, all of us will be beneficiaries of that. Now, into there, you talked about the monitoring and evaluation committee. You talked about the first report that you released. I'd like to know, can you give me a small summary of what you found in that first report? If you were to score in terms of performance, the federal MDAs that we rated as of uh, December last year, uh, I was just being too uh, uh, conservative. I probably put it at 60 to 70 percent. That is showing that government is embracing transparency. When we rate ourselves, we release that rating to the public so that Nigerians will be able to follow to see how well government is doing and areas where we need to correct ourselves will do so. Where do FDIs uh, fit into all of this, especially and also our local investors? Where do they fit into the whole plan? Clearly. Uh, when we did the national uh, implementation plan for the, the four-year plan, we're talking of a total investment of about 32 trillion naira. Now, 10 trillion of that is expected from the federal government, 9 trillion from the states, and about 13 trillion. So the bigger portion of it we are expecting will come from the private sector. Private sector, both domestic and foreign. So clearly the government is envisaging a very strong role by the private sector going forward.